Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. On the evening of that first day of the week, when the doors were locked where the disciples were, for the fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. Whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, and whose sins you retain are retained. Thomas, called Didymus, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples said to him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the mark of the nails in his hands, and put my finger into the nail marks, and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. Now, a week later, his disciples were again inside, and Thomas was with them. Jesus came, although the door were locked, and stood in the midst and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands, and bring your hand and put it into my side, and do not be unbelieving, but believe. Thomas answered and said to him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Have you come to believe because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and have believed. Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples that were not written in this book. But these are written that you may come to believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that through this belief you may have life in his name. The Gospel of the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters, this is our beautiful tradition, not only in the Polish American Church, but in the whole Church, to celebrate the second Easter Sunday as the Sunday of Divine Mercy. To St. Faustina our Lord said, I desire that the Feast of Mercy be a refuge and shelter for all souls, and especially for poor sinners. On that day the very depths of my tender mercy are open. I pour out the whole ocean of graces upon those souls who approach the fount of my mercy. This is the day when we celebrate the richness meaning, participation in, and application of God's mercy for us. This day we cry with St. Thomas and with the whole Church, my Lord and my God. On the eighth day of resurrection, we celebrate God's coming to us through the closed and locked doors of our hearts, through all our fears, anxiety, through all our struggles, questions, doubts. 
Because His mercy is without limits, without any borders. There are no limits for God's love. His mercy is greater than sin, than evil, than suffering, than death. In His mercy, also we, the whole church, we have victory, salvation, and eternal life. Year by year, we celebrate the Easter victory of Jesus Christ. This candle shows us the light of Christ, the risen Lord. He is not dead. He lives in His church, in us. So today, this is the day to immerse our family and friends and ourselves into the ocean of mercy and to pray for all people who are so dear to us. Today and every day we cry out, Jesus, I trust in you. But my dear brothers and sisters, today is the day of mercy. Even if our sins be as red as scarlet, they will be made white as wool if we turn with hope to His merciful heart. It was clarified by the words of our Lord to St. Faustina, Mankind will not have peace until it turns to the fount of my mercy. And you see in the Gospel today, when Jesus comes, He greets His disciples with these words, Peace! Be with you. Speak to the world about my mercy. It is a sign for the end of time. Tell the souls about this great mercy of mine, because the day of my justice is near. While there is still time, let them have recourse to the fount of my mercy. He who refuses to pass through the door of my mercy must pass through the door of my justice. In 1931, our Lord granted a vision to St. Faustina with two rays emanating from his heart, one red and the other pale. As she gazed intently at him, he said to her, paint an image, according to the pattern you see with the signature, Jesus, I trust in you. Some years have passed, and Sister Faustina was sent to Vilnius. It was a part of Poland today, the capital city of Lithuania. The city of divine mercy, because in the old town of Vilnius there is a chapel with our mother of mercy, Black Madonna. As holy and important for Lithuanian and Polish people as our mother in Chastelu. This was the place where the picture, the first picture was painted. Then, the second one in Krakow. And all these pictures show us Jesus who comes to us from the darkness of death. He is walking toward us. With one hand he shows his heart, the open, merciful heart for us. And the second hand, this is the blessing hand of Jesus Christ. There is in God. We see those, these two colors, the pale one and the red one, which is blood and water, which gushed through from the heart of Jesus. 
And we see how the risen Lord is coming to us to bless us, to give us his strength. I promise, he said, that the soul that will venerate this image will not perish. I also promise victory over its enemies already here on earth, especially at the hour of death. I myself will defend it as my own glory. I am offering people a vessel with which they are to keep coming for graces to the fountain of mercy. I desire that this image be venerated throughout the world. Then the second war, war came. Lithuania became a part of Nazi, then Russian Soviet Union. And the first picture disappeared for many, many years. Many thought, many people thought there is no picture there. Therefore, in Krakow, the second picture was made. After many years, we have the Sanctuary of Divine Mercy in Krakow and in Vilnius. But a very special story is some of Lithuanian and Polish priests were escaping from the war and came to Massachusetts. And grounded in Stockbridge, the very first sanctuary of Divine Mercy. So, my dear brothers and sisters, we here on the East Coast, we are very blessed because the theology, the teaching about Divine Mercy came very free very early to America. It is just like an invitation for you and to me to entrust our hearts to Jesus, to go with hope to the Divine Mercy. By means of this image, says the Lord, I shall grant many graces to all souls. I want this image to be blessed on the first Sunday after Easter. The Sunday is to be the Feast of Mercy. The two rays denote blood and water. The pale ray stands for the water which makes souls righteous. The red ray stands for the blood which is the life of souls. These two rays issued forth from the very depths of my tender mercy when my heart was opened by the by lungs on the cross. These rays shield souls from the wrath of my Father. Happy is the one who will dwell in their shelter, for the just hand of God shall not lay hold on him. So, my dear brothers and sisters, today when we celebrate the Feast of Mercy and the Most Holy Eucharist, the most sacred mysteries of our faith, let us go with hope and love to Jesus Christ. Let us ask for God's blessing and mercy for us, for our families and friends. Let us unite with the whole Church. She prays today and on each day, Jesus, I trust in you.